This presentation covers the topic of user authentication on SAP Asset Manager. It includes a breakdown of the steps enabling the single sign-on in the SAP Asset Manager application. SAP Asset Manager is based on Mobile Development Kit MDK, architecture. MDK provides a runtime and full customization framework for SAP Asset Manager. The SAP Asset Manager application uses the OAuth 2.0 protocol to authenticate users and to get authorization to access data on the SAP backend system. During the onboarding process, when users log into the SAP Asset Manager application for the first time, the mobile application sends an authorization request to the OAuth server. The OAuth server delegates the call to the respective identity authentication tenant. Subsequently, SAP Asset Manager users enter their credentials into a form generated by the identity authentication tenant. Once the onboarding process is completed, an access token is automatically granted to the users. When SAP Asset Manager accesses service resources, the token is used for authentication. The SAP Asset Manager application user authentication can be delegated through SAP Business Technology Platforms, Identity Authentication, or third-party identity providers like AD, Okta, IAS, and others. Yet, authentication to an individual component served by mobile services does not ensure authentication to a back-end service. To propagate the authentication to the back-end service, turn on principal propagation of the destination that is set as the back-end connection of the application. The SAP Cloud Connector allows the SAP Cloud Platform to connect to the SAP S4 HANA on-premises system of a customer. Now I'll introduce the steps you'll need to follow to enable the single sign-on with Okta, a third-party identity and access management provider. Step number 1. Download the SAML metadata from the trust configuration of the SAP BTP sub-account. Step number 2. Create an application for BTP in the Okta admin to enable trust and download the metadata file. Step number 3. Set up a trust configuration in BTP subaccount and upload the metadata obtained from the Okta application. Step number 4. Create an MDK application in mobile services for SAP Asset Manager and enable the principal propagation in SAM related destination. Step number 5. Configure the SAP Cloud Connector with the principal propagation and subject pattern. Step number 6. Import Cloud Connector SCC, system certificate in SAP Backend to establish the trust between the backend and SCC. Also, maintain profile parameters in the backend. Step number 7. Configure the rule-based certificate mapping through the search rule transaction or by assigning external IDs to users. Finally, step number 8. Test the SAP Asset Manager application. During the SAP Asset Manager application onboarding process, you'll be able to see the Okta authentication window. Once a user enters their Okta credentials, they get authenticated against the Okta identity provider. After successful user authentication, the application downloads the metadata from the BTP and the business data from the SAP backend system. Then, it navigates to the SAP Asset Manager dashboard screen. Now that you know how user authentication works on the SAP Asset Manager application, reach out to OnDevice Solutions if you need more information about SAP Asset Manager implementation, or to schedule a demo specific to your requirements. Feel free to email info at ondevicesolutions.com. Thank you for watching.